Yeah, you were talking about um, Harold Camping's advanced age. Mm. Um, there's another thing he does have that puts him in a position to, to support these people. And not just a, a moral obligation that I think he really does have. That His preaching drove people into financial disaster, and into oblivion. And um, his, his media empire is estimated about being $100 million. This yeah. is a guy who has a lot of money. And I say that, you know, Harold Camping, you have a moral obligation to take care of the people for which lives you have destroyed. And if I knew, if I thought there was something I did on this radio show that drove somebody to destroy their entire life... I would be ashamed of myself. Not only would I want to, to help these people and make up for what I had done, I, I couldn't imagine not putting a gun in my mouth. Uh, Harold Camping, you were a monster. <laughs> I agree. I'd also like to add that uh, Family Radio and Harold Camping do not appear to be putting all of their financial uh, their financial eggs in this one basket. So they have a survival plan if the world doesn't end, and they're not telling their followers to do the same thing. Yeah, that's, that's the thing that gets me. is I, I don't doubt that Harold Camping believes this stuff on some level, but he clearly doesn't believe it as much as his followers, and he clearly doesn't care about his followers enough to give them that level of protection. You know what? Screw you, dude. Seriously. <laughs> you, are a, you are a monstrous human being. You are morally and ethically reprehensible. You are bankrupt. I, I think I can get behind that. He's been asked several times if...